Hmm. What is going on everyone? Derek here today, bringing you another video. So guys, I'm actually pulling up to the Miranda's house right now. Um, I see Joel has his hood open for some reason. We got Brandon, Pam, Shadow, and myself. Let me get the car parked real quick and we'll go ahead and explain to you what we got going on today. All right. This should do. Typically don't start off a video like this. As I did mention, we are at the Miranda's and um, I think we're gonna be hitting the Richmond Auto Show. I don't know why my mind totally blanked out right there. But yes, I believe that's what's on today's agenda as of right now. With that being said, I'm hoping we can run into possibly a new C8 Corvette and a new GT500 at the show, which would be absolutely amazing. And that's why I'm, I'm vlogging this because I think you guys would like to see that. And as far as the Corvette, I'm really excited. The Mustang, um, I might get some hate for saying this, but it's just, eh. The GT500 is insane, don't get me wrong. I'm not sitting here saying it's not. It most definitely is, but that C8 mid-engine Corvette is just, it's, uh, but you know, that's all the hype around that car right now. Um, yeah, instead of talking in my car, why don't we go see what everybody's up to, and then we can talk some more. Okay, not forget the coffee. This is an essential on a 40 degree day, which, it's actually really nice out here. Just a little cold. <gasps> oh man. For those of you that don't have a Wawa, you're truly missing out. Good old Shadow 2 Valve. Guys, if you want me to make a single video driving this car for like the whole day, drop a like on this video. Let me know. We can go like back in time in the 2 Valve. You got Minion here. You got Pam's car. What fuck's going on here? Love that alternator on top there. Thing's pretty sick. It's all the power for a sound system in there. <sighs> Uh, Hello. We got some people here. I, I hope know. I'm here at my fucking house. Well, Joel's on like fucking caffeine up. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? What's going on? I'm, <coughs> I'm so glad it was still filming. <laughs> Yo, Joel. So I might have to borrow the two valve for a video. There's battery in it when it's dead right now. I think the viewers are gonna want like a day in the life of a two valve. You know, cause it's been a hot minute. It so has been you a might minute. have to give it to me to have. Okay. He almost did. Yeah. Almost got him. Currently in the car, and we are going to be going to the auto show, as I mentioned in this video. And yeah, Jordan hooked it up with the free tickets. Yeah, shout out to my boy Vince Ingram. That's my dog. Sudden. I kind of ruined it for myself. There is something really special there. So um, you probably already know from the title and thumbnail. Yeah. Adam, remember when everybody thought you were my dad for the yeah, longest time? <laughs> Pam actually had a good idea. We parked on like the top level and it goes, well, I guess it was kind of your idea too. Yeah, it's a lot of cheer experience. Yeah. Oh, man. Got the package. It just keeps going. Damn. It's tempting. <laughs> Jordan, hey, Jordan. Oh, Jordan's about to get kicked out. Jordan's about to get kicked out before we even freaking get in. Don't hang out with Jeff. Jordan's a drug addict. Oh, I know. <laughs> oh, bro, we're talking shit. It's recording. <laughs> I'm glad I filmed all that. All right, so the first section is the best section. We got all these Mustangs. So let's go take a look. Stage three Roush. Got another S550 here. Nice little three valve. Got a Gen 3. Another Gen 3. It's a bomb, bro. Got that gotta have it green. Ruby. Ooh, look at that blower. What is that? Roush? Three valve. Single turbo. Good lord. Look at that thing. This thing's an absolute monster. I love the drag setup. He even got the racing seats. Probably, par yep, parachute on the back. This thing's ready to go fast. Got a nice little Shelby right here. Kind of confused as to why like something so stock is in this. And then something like that's in there. Like I just, I don't understand. Another three valve, by far the best one here is gonna be this Cobra Fox body. I need to shoot. You need to shoot? Yeah. Dude, shoot. if you got a shit, there's a bathroom over no, there. No, I shit. <laughs> All right, down the middle. Thank you. All right, so starting off, we have the Chevy. And again, guys, this isn't gonna be like an exotic show or a supercar meet. This is, this is where all the brands come and they like to showcase the cars that are gonna be for sale and things like that. Like, we've got the new Super over there we're gonna look at. But first things first, we gotta look at the, gotta look at the Corvette. Like, these things are so nice. So we got a Grand Sport here. Love the color on this one. Some yellow stripes, that's pretty cool. 
Nice little accent. So next to the Corvette, we got Ink Ginge. He did a wonderful job on this build. Go follow him on Instagram, guys. Check out this car. It does a nasty burnout in it. So I don't think they have the mid-engine Corvette here, unfortunately. Only reason why I came here. I really wanted to see that. Um, we'll see the GT500 that is here. I'm not going to show you that quite yet, but I am going to go ahead and show you this. Got the brand new Supra. These things start at 49000 which isn't bad, but... Not really my style, and no offense to anybody, but it reminds me of a girly car. Not really my style. This is a Camry. I would like you to meet Linda. It's like, what's up? Yeah, bro? she's taller than you, don't worry. Every girl in the world. Gotta admit, Type R definitely would buy just to have if I were rich. Even the state troopers made it. Think they catching a boosted 5.0? Stand next to it. Got a beautiful yellow GT350, and I know Brandon is like crying inside. But yeah, this is female driven. We got an S197, Boss 302 that is. Damn, these things are just so, like, ugh, I can't wait. This is what I would want mine to look like. Needs a little bit more low, but the black with the chrome blower underneath the hood, like, this is so ideal. Got an older Mustang, Boss 302 here. Got my biggest regret right here. So when I sold blue, I got a pretty nice penny, and I actually put money aside so I could modify the S197 I was gonna buy. I do wish I just put all the money down on a Shelby GT500. That is one thing I do kind of regret, and I would have waited for the Grabber Blue GT500, but you know, those are like far and few between. Like it's impossible to find one. But this color GT500, I have to admit, is just insane. Imagine opening up your garage door every morning, having plenty of money, and you have this car sitting there. Would be absolutely bonkers. All right guys, so it is the moment you've all been waiting for. Thumbnail and title of this video, you can clearly see we do have a brand new 2020 GT500 here. And this one's actually like a pretty cool color. So right off the bat guys, I will say, I'm not a huge fan of the car just because I'm not a huge fan of the S550s and I'm not throwing any hate out there. I think they did a wonderful job with this car, but the fact that they don't have manuals quite yet and automatic is the only option is kind of boring in my opinion. But the car is really nice. Um, we can actually get really close to this one. So again, I think it's too much of a money car, if that makes sense. Like. I don't know, there's really not much, I mean the thing already has like what, 800 horsepower from the factory. So we got this orange, I don't know what the exact color of this is, but it does look good. I have to admit, it really does look good. And I think this is the carbon fiber package, you see the wheels, full carbon fiber, which is going to be ridiculous. Seeing one in person, it, it's a lot different than seeing it online, but look at those freaking rotors. Oh my god. There's a little front view of it. Another angle of it. The front end absolutely is killer. They did a super nice job on that in my opinion. It looks super aggressive. So very well done with that. Got some splitters and stuff. A um, little over excessive but again it is a GT500 the brand new one so they're gonna do stuff like that. Have some integrated hood pins. So moving down to the wheels again these are full carbon which is actually kind of trippy to look at. You can see the really big rotors back there. And the one thing that's getting me right now is the caliper color. We got this beautiful orange paint, black accents, you know, got the carbon fiber that kind of looks like a black color, but then you have red calipers, which is really odd in my opinion. If they would have paint matched the paint with the calipers, I think it would look much better. But I know performance brakes, you know, it's typically Brembo's too, or is like the red go-to color on these cars from the factory, but I think paint matched Brembo's would have been the way to go with that. Moving on to the side, you see we got these side splitters here. Get a little peek at the interior. So again, you know, this spec is obviously a little odd. You got the white trim on the seats. I would have definitely not have done that. Looks like a normal S550 interior. Moving on to the rear, you can see again, fully carbon. Do have some big old calipers right there. 315s. So, 315s on here. I mean, it's gonna need it. <laughs> what is it? Is it 800 horsepower from the factory? Uh, it's something like that, right? Okay, well, regardless, this thing's a Yeah, the thing's a beast. This is actually, I think, the first time I've ever seen carbon wheels this close. Um, it's really weird. Move to the back. Got this big old wing. Jeez, the thing is huge, but it does kind of flow with the car. You know, you got that aggressive front end, a lot going on the front end. They had to keep the party going back here with a big old wing. And Brandon, get the f out of the way. It does have the quads on here. So, I mean, that's kind of obvious. Nice little diffuser. Got the big old Cobra emblem right there. Generic tail lights, I'm surprised they didn't switch those up. Has the black roof, which I do approve of. You guys know I'm a big fan of that. You can peek in there. 
Don't know how well you can see the steering wheel, but it's nothing crazy. The seats are nice. I don't, again, don't like the white. Um, it's a little weird. As far as the interior, I think they are lacking a little bit with such a high price point on this car, but again, it's not meant to be a Mercedes. It is a freaking beast from the factory. You know, I wish we could pop the hood. Look at that, but. So the color of this is Twister Orange. I just um, got informed. So it is pretty unique looking. Well guys, we've got the review, well, review, the 2020 GT500. It's the first time I've ever seen it, and honestly, I never done any research, nor was I really excited about it, just because it's it's a supercar you know this is no different than a Lamborghini it's no different than anything it's a six-figure price point I believe which is just absurd but if you can afford it good for you I know I can't so I kind of say in my in my range you know with price point and get excited about things in my range that's somewhat obtainable this on the other hand nowhere near it so you know it's a nice car um, it is an s550 I'm they're nice but I think s197 is all the way no. I, I would take, I honestly would take a 1314 brand new as, um, GT, or GT500 over this. I really Car's would. Trash. Car's trash. Hey, at least mine doesn't sway doing 70. <laughs> That'll be fixed soon. Yo, once I start flipping bricks, this is the vehicle right here. That is going to be it for the auto show. It's never really too exciting, but I wanted to go ahead and just make this little video so you guys can see some of the cars. GT500, you saw my opinion. Um, nice car, but not really me. And Supra, forget it. Never. TJ, Adam, all you guys, I don't know what you're thinking. Camera literally has like 1%, so I'm going to go ahead and just let you know it might die. Bye-bye.